You are one of those lucky people that can travel anywhere. They sometimes call you nomads. Our Nomadland people are stepping into the world of a Chloe Zhao movie, and Chloe doesn't want to make movies in a conventional way. Ready? Mm -hmm. Action. Me and my DP, Josh, have a quite good understanding of how we want to cover things. The approach to cinematography was always one towards classic cinema, but also feels contemporary. We did have some influences, like Hal Ashby shot in Bound for Glory, I think was one of the first ever Steadicam shots that took you through all these traveling workers and use these walking shots. It's just a great way of serving both character and environment, because we're following Fran from a distance and it's wide enough that the eye can kind of search the frame but Chloe's still grounding us in this woman's emotional journey. Josh is a very intuitive operator, so I rely heavily on him to find the light and find the performance. So our actors doesn't always have to hit a spot. You know, they can be a bit more free. We had a really specific idea with the light that we wanted. I'd taken note a few days previously of the way the sun kind of vanished behind the mountains of our location, and it still gave everyone this backlight but at the same time, it was soft enough because I knew I was exposing for the sky. Between four o'clock to seven o'clock is the most stressful thing you can imagine. It's that feeling of like waiting for something important that's about to happen and that anticipation. And then we work together really tightly and then you just feel like towards the end of the shoot, it's like an ecosystem. We're amazed by how much we can gel together as a team. It's an incredible feeling. We've shot in so many different locations, so many different environments, just sort of ready to adjust to whatever comes along. Filming with, you know, real nomads, filming with real beet farmers in Nebraska, filming with real campers and following this character of Fern as she like navigates this world. So are you, are you quitting on me? No, no, I'm not quitting. We're just trying to kind of discover, you know, life through this character's eyes. The camera's there as a sort of witness to that. It's kind of about being sort of flexible and having patience and shooting enough to capture those real moments and then exploring life from a certain perspective that doesn't feel purely observational, that there's a poetry to it. If you're lucky, you know, get a little bit of lightning in a bottle.